The gentleman from Guam is recognized for five minutes in support of the amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd first like to thank my colleagues for the chivalry of their engagement this evening and for those of us who are here of their longevity as well as the staff uh, for all of your um, help in getting us to this point. I don't know if I'm the one at the end of the road for this evening, but I'm thankful that my colleagues are giving me the opportunity. And I wanted to um, particularly extend my thanks to you, Madam Chair, as well as to our ranking member. In our um, original iteration of this, of this bill that was um, in either version, whether the one that was negotiated or the one that we're discussing today, all of them have the same um, concept in page 11. And this is an incredibly important concept. I'm the representative from Guam, and Guam is a U.S. territory, and all of our U.S. territories are at the bottom of the poverty levels in this country. We are at the bottom of the poverty levels, whether you're Guam, you're American Samoa, you're the U.S. Virgin Islands, you're the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, or you're Puerto Rico. And as we discussed tonight, the need for us to uh, combat poverty in order to push back on drugs, and uh, the need for us to engage in order to strengthen our national security, and the need for us to uh, ensure that we're creating opportunities so that people can have the resources to pursue uh, environmentally conscious decisions. When you're dealing with uh, the territories and the poverty that exists there, uh, those things are, are tremendous luxuries in a lot of ways. And um, Madam Chair, you and our ranking member have both agreed to include an Office of Territorial Exporting in the newly formed uh, Exim Bank or finance agency that we're going to create with the uh, passage of this legislation. This Office of Territorial Exporting, Madam Chair, is not only incredibly significant for the territories because of the opportunities that will, it will create, but I really believe that it's incredibly significant in the ways it's going to strengthen this country. Our territories are gateways to various trade markets. It's one of the reasons why they became territories to begin with. Uh, many of us were colonies of the Spanish, and uh, we were colonized in order to be able to facilitate uh, galleon trade routes during the uh, early 14th century, where ships full of gold will travel from east to west, uh, stopping in Puerto Rico or stopping in Guam on the way to uh, make their way into Asia or back to, um, to Europe. Guam is known as the tip of the spear militarily. Guam is a military base. Um, it's also a home to 170,000 people. It also is a very robust tourism industry. But we are always forgotten when it comes to being a commercial destination. And yet, historically, that was our role. And so with the inclusion of the Office of Territorial Exporting, we are basically taking a major step to establishing export-oriented industries in these territories to combat poverty and to sharpen that tip of the spear so that we're not just poking out uh, uh, with, a, with hard power, but we're also able to reach out with soft power. And uh, my amendment, Madam Chair, is to um, ensure that the original language here that uh, has a single staffer designated for liaising with Puerto Rico in this particular office is actually also extended to the U.S. Virgin Islands, to Guam, to the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and American Samoa. One of the reasons why I really think that this is a very good amendment is because all territories, while we have, we, while we have similar inequities, we don't have similar government structures necessarily, we don't have similar tax structures necessarily, but most importantly, when it comes to export-oriented industry, we don't have similar markets. The territories of Guam, the Commonwealth, the Northern Mariana Islands, and American Samoa, we're Pacific territories. We can reach out into Australia, New Guinea, New Zealand, the Philippines, all of Southeast Asia, all the way up into Japan and Korea. Will my colleague yield? Uh, I will, yes. I support your addition. I think it's a reasonable inclusion. The fact that you're on this committee uh, is a service uh, to uh, the territories um, and your representation of their needs is uh, is heard, and uh, I, I have no objection with your amendment. Um, and uh, we know that uh, our colleague, Ms. Velasquez, has done uh, probably the most of any member of Congress uh, on either side of the aisle in support of Puerto Rico. And so um, I think the inclusion of this is, is wise and smart, especially in, your, in the case of the people you represent. Um, it is the gateway to these trading partners and this real competition. So being on the front lines, we certainly support your initiative and uh, I'd urge adoption of uh, what I think is a wise addition. 
I thank my colleague from North Carolina sincerely for his support. Um, Madam Chair, I'm, I'm basically out of time, but I thank my colleagues for just the opportunity to be able to contribute to the dialogue in this capacity. My district oftentimes questions what I'm doing here, and uh, this is an example of how we can definitely contribute. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Is there further debate on the amendment? If not, I recognize myself for five minutes. I'd like to congratulate Mr. San Nicholas for his advocacy for Guam. Uh, it is precisely what uh, I have always known about the possibility for the territories to have more um, influence in this Congress with a representative who was willing to speak up on behalf of their territory or territories that they're involved with. I think it is important for us to pay attention because I believe that territories have been excluded uh, from many opportunities that they should have uh, had in this Congress. So I absolutely support this amendment. I thank uh, the ranking member for his support, and it makes it a bipartisan uh, support, it is, for this amendment. And so with that, I um, ask everyone to support this amendment, and I yield back the balance of my time. The question occurs on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Madam Chair, I would like to request for a recorded vote. A recorded vote has been requested. All in favor of a recorded vote shall raise their hand and be counted. There is a sufficient second and a recorded vote is so ordered. Pursuant to section 5, C5 of rule 3 of the committee rules, the vote on this question is postponed. The committee stands in recess until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning.